In today's video, we're going to talk about the hidden X suture, also known as the inverse figure of eight suture technique. As the name suggests, this technique is basically a reverse version of the classic figure of eight suture. When you look at it from the outside, you'll see two parallel suture lines, but underneath, inside the tissue, it creates a familiar crossed pattern. To start, the first stitch passes from the outside in near the edge of the wound. Then on the opposite side, you place the needle obliquely, about 0.5 to one centimeter below the level of the first stitch, creating a diagonal path across the tissue. The second pass comes up from below, directly across from where the suture exited, again placed obliquely to form a parallel line. Once you tie the ends together, typically using a surgeon's knot, the final result is two parallel suture lines on the surface, but a crossing pattern hidden inside the tissue. This inverse figure of eight technique provides the same hemodynamic stability and skin edge approximation as the standard figure of eight. But because the crossing part of the suture is buried under the wound surface, it's not only more aesthetic and less likely to be accidentally disturbed, Depending on the tension, it can also create slight wound aversion, which may help achieve a better long-term cosmetic outcome. Unlike a standard horizontal mattress suture, which depends on good tissue support between entry and exit points, the inverse figure of eight works especially well for closing small circular defects, like those from punch biopsies, or for closing defects in fragile, friable tissue. This technique has been successfully used for years by both periodontists and surgeons. Plastic surgeons often favor the inverse figure of eight suture technique for its ability to minimize visible scarring and provide strong tissue support. Its buried configuration offers both functional strength and an improved cosmetic outcome, making it especially useful in procedures where aesthetics are paramount. Surgeons typically prefer absorbable sutures, such as 4O or 5O Vicryl or Monocryl for buried dermal sutures, since these materials provide good tensile strength and reduce the need for suture removal. For superficial skin closure, non-absorbable options like nylon or polypropylene may also be used, depending on the location and cosmetic needs. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep learning about surgical techniques and tips, we'd love to have you join our community. Please support us by subscribing to the Surg Media channel, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave your questions or comments below. We truly appreciate your feedback, and we can't wait to share more great content with you soon.